How you doing? I'm Christian from Bridge to Grace, and this is our RV. Come on in. All right, uh, I'm Christian, and this is the RV of Bridge to Grace. Follow me up here. Up here is where the maneuvering of the vehicle goes down. Justin does most of the driving, followed by me, and then Alex by a close third, I would say. And then David over here does the bare minimum of driving. <laughs> I think I've seen him drive twice, and we, we, we drive a lot. Uh, driver picks the music. We just figured out we have this port here, which is pretty dandy. Charges it at the same Charges time. Charges it at the same time while you play the music, so it's pretty nice. Uh, then we got this GPS because our phones are just, none of our phones can really work too well as a GPS. So that's pretty much all we got up we here. Keep drinks. This is where we keep drinks keep and the cup holders. Change as well in case we have to go through a toll, but that's fairly rare. Welcome to my domain. Up here is where I sleep and lay my head down. All the magic happens up here. None. Not at all, actually. <laughs> it's kind of messy up there, I apologize. I tried to fold my laundry, but it doesn't really hold up too well when we start going down the road. And uh, got a little fan here in case I start sweating in the middle of the night. And sometimes we like to sleep at all hours of the day, so this blocks the sun. It's kind of ghetto, but you know what? It works. And this is uh, my king size blanket. Covers up that window. And uh, yeah. The weird part about up here, too, is it's either way too hot or way too cold. The temperature just doesn't work up here. Then whenever we decide to shut down for the night after show, sorry, yeah. Justin, we'll just close that off so no one can see so it. people can't look in and we can't look out, yeah. you know, it just keeps the light out. Uh, and then David likes to do this, <laughs> conceals his mess. Nobody can see me. And then over here, David's got a little PC oh, yeah. rigged. This is the home studio. We can do all kinds of music on here. We make our beat creations and uh, beat creations. <laughs> we got a little computer yeah. set up up there. Wireless keyboard, mouse. Um, this is the kind of blanket slash junk cabinet. Thing. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Then right down here is where I sleep. Just gotta pull that out, and you're set. Watch out, ladies. Only watch out, ladies. Only problem that I have with this bed is that, you know, when it's time to hunker down, close that, close this, but it's just a little short. So when I'm laying, I just get a perfect stream of light right in my eyes. But you know what? It keeps me, it keeps me alert in the morning. So that right back up. And we have to Velcro this to the actual frame because the string broke. <laughs> this is supposed to be all the way up here. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know anybody who can fix it, so we don't fix it. Velcro. And then we've got this. This is the door that I beckoned you into. We have a little uh, fabric blocking this because this is where most of the light comes in. Wakes us all up. It's not good. Uh, when it gets hot, you know, we just have that little thing right there. But it's never really cool outside, especially in mid-June. <laughs> so we usually keep that closed. Over here is where most of the food eating goes down. We've got the table cup holders. This is Steve our little French. friend Steve French. He's just a little horny kitty. Uh, this folds down into a bed. You know, we usually have a, a merch part, like a merchandise person come stay with us, and that's where they'll sleep. This is where I'd say 100% of our, oh, it's still hot, of our cooking goes down. If you want to walk them through that, what you can cook on that. Yeah, that's it. It's just the cooking quarters. Yeah, we don't, we don't use the range too much because we don't have any pots or pans because we really don't have anything to clean it with. So we'll probably catch something on fire too. <laughs> we will 100% catch something on fire. Plus it saves propane for the fridge. <laughs> let, me get, let, let me take you to the fridge. We just got these cheese curds. Never had, we've never had cheese curds before. They're delicious. What better place we're in Wisconsin? No, we're not. We just came from Wisconsin, so that's where we, we got, got the those. cheese curds in Wisconsin. Now. Yeah, that's where we got those. And then, you know, where would we be without pounds and pounds of mozzarella cheese <laughs> and pounds and pounds of shredded <laughs> Mexican cheese? That's what it looks like when it's melted, though. No, it looks a lot better. We got all of our lunch meats and sandwich materials over here. Lettuce. We're pretty short on drinks right now. We have one Gatorade and we it's purple. Shopping. None of us like the purple one, so that's why we saw that. We got salsa, syrup. What do we use the syrup for? I couldn't tell you. 
but we have it. Ketchup, waffles. you know. Oh yeah, waffles if we ever have waffles. We have a like, we do in the freezer. overwhelming supply of lettuce. Oh, don't get me started on the lettuce. Dude. Lettuce. Don't know. The oh, burgers yeah. that we don't have. Yeah. Then up in the freezer we got some waffles. <laughs> I didn't know we had these. <laughs> got some frozen chicken, shrimp, some veggies, and an ice pack. In case someone gets hurt. Yeah. We've got some other snacks up here. Oreos, whey protein. I don't know who uses that. Is that you? That's you. We've got some cans. We don't have a can opener, but we have plenty of cans. <laughs> Peanut butter, which I just discovered. <laughs> Beefaroni, you know, Ritz crackers. We have a lot of great things up here. I haven't, I haven't looked in here. Uh, and then we keep, you know, plastic silverware up here and whatnot, so we can eat the food that I'm just now discovering. Pretzels. Then we have the bread bin over here. We're out of bread. We're out of bread. <laughs> bagels. Got some bagels though. I ate two today. Cheerios, no milk. We're running pretty low on the snack. Oh, and then over here we've got Xbox One, which we've got connected to this, which is. How is that? Can you walk them through how that's attached? We got a nice little uh, wow. zip ties, possibly. Zip ties and a hinge. Move your fan. It swings. It it swings, away. especially yeah. when we stop in traffic. It just <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> which makes it really difficult to play while in transit. Uh, our, some of our favorite games are Forza, uh, Call of Duty. What's the other game? We have Madden. I'm so bad at all of them, but you know it's fine. We still play. We're huge fans of uh, Game of Thrones, so I'll get my laptop on HBO Go, whatever, and we'll just watch Game of Thrones every week. Uh, the Walking Dead, you know, we're from Atlanta, so we love that show too. Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys is our, our, is our newfound love on Netflix. If you don't watch it, watch it, because it's hilarious. Went through over here, this is where I keep all my things. That's where I keep half of my things now. Laptop, first aid, because you never know when you're gonna need it. Paper plates. And that's about it from this half back. All right, here we've got the range that we don't use, but we use it to hold the bread. We've got our gauges to see how our levels are. If you know anything about RVs, you know these are very poor levels and not like in every field. We have no water, our piss tank is full, and our generic water tank is almost full. We really need to dump that pretty soon. Uh, we got a hood light that we use sometimes, I guess. Almost never. Broken hood fan. That turns the water pump on so we can run the sink if we had water, which we don't. Over here we've got the shower that we don't use. We, well, we kind of use it. We kind of use it as a drying rack if we ever go to like the ocean or like whatever. We put this giant towel over it to block out the light because I don't know if you can see it, but it gets pretty bright in there. Uh, I cannot fit in the shower, so because I'm 6'3 and the, the ceiling's about here and then the spigot's about here. So. That's why I don't use that. We got heat, like uh, kind of like a uh, like heat ducts, vents. It, it, vents yeah, that's the ducts. Uh, like in the winter, like when we were up in uh, Michigan in uh, March, freezing. <laughs> so that definitely came in handy. And back here is where we've got the bedroom, the main bedroom. That's where me and Justin sleep. Uh, what's the size of this mattress again? Is it a queen? No, that's no, a small. It's a full. Because my feet hang off. Yeah. And I'm only 5'10". So. Yeah, the lot where David sleeps is the only place where nobody's feet hangs off the side. My, the couch, I'm like, I think it comes up to like my knee. It's not that great. And as Christian um, said, we love Game of Thrones. Yeah, we've got a, a House Lannister pillow. And we've got a direwolf. A dire wolf. His name is Alex. We're, we're pretty lame. Same after but We've got some closet space over there and mirrors so we can check ourselves out before our show. It's our hangings. Make sure we're looking good. Hangings. So it doesn't wrinkle. Up here is some more clothing storage and whatnot. So we keep some towels in a corner thing over there. And we got Once these hooks. Like some of these as seen on TV, like easy apply hooks. Did you just break my hook? No, they're awesome. That's where we put our trash and towels on and whatnot. And then we were in Tampa and there was a closed down consignment shop where it was like, come and take what you want. So this is our... Uh, this is our beat stick, our equalizer. This is what puts us between us and criminals that try to get on the RV. Only problem is that it's with Alex and he's a very heavy sleeper. 
Oh yeah. And it's all the way back here. So, and I, I sleep right next to the door. So if somebody comes in, I'm done for. Oh, uh, it's the Game of Thrones sweatshirt. It's the Game of oh, Thrones sweatshirt. Oh, he's got sweatshirt. the Game of Thrones sweatshirt. <laughs> we love it. We can't get enough of it. Obsessed. Uh, we keep all the shoes back here too. Oh yeah. If, if we need, if we need some privacy back here, we just bring this across. You can still hear everything, but that's fine. Kind of see the silhouettes. You see the silhouettes? It's, it's really just, it doesn't serve any privacy at all. Uh, then here is where all the magic happens. Just a nice little bathroom. Then it's a pretty much a complete nightmare to pee when you're on, like in transit, shaking everywhere. It's bad. Uh, we, this is our medicine cabinet. Keep all of our things back there. I keep all of my toiletries in a little bag. I don't know who all these are. But, got another sink. Baby wipes. If there's one thing I could tell you from being a touring musician, baby wipes is what you need. Wake up in the morning, baby wipe shower. It's great. Uh, that's about it. That's all that we got back here. We got our broom. There's Rock. And there's Rock. There's our, our friend Rock. He's kind of a dick. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. We got this nice little rug that we trip on every time we come in and out. This thing, which never stays. We keep all our trash bags and whatnot and our cleaning products in there. Uh, and I think that's about it. All right, well, this is Christian from Bridge to Grace. Thanks for hanging out with us on the RV, but I kind of have to poop, so I'm going to have to ask you to please leave.